I now give a floor to distinguished representative of Sri Lanka. Mr. President, Sri Lanka condemns terrorism in all its forms and manifestations. Similarly, we have condemned the attacks that took place on 7th October. However, the thrust of resolution L27 just adopted and which Sri Lanka co-sponsored is entitled Protection of Civilians and Upholding Legal and Humanitarian Obligations. It focuses on the UN Secretary General's call invoking Article 99 of the UN Charter. The letter of 7 December by the head of UNRWA. It expresses concern at the humanitarian situation in Gaza, emphasizes the need for the protection of civilians, both Israeli and Palestinian, calls upon all parties to exercise maximum restraint, demands an immediate ceasefire, the unconditional release of hostages held by all parties, and reiterates the demand for all parties to comply with their obligations under humanitarian law. The resolution L27 does not seek to condemn any party to the conflict or seek to apportion blame on any party. The amendments L28 presented by Austria and L29 presented by the USA seek to apportion blame only on one party. The adoption of either would have diverted the focus of the resolution and made it manifestly imbalanced. Sri Lanka therefore voted against both amendments. Thank you. I thank the distinguished representative of Sri Lanka.